Shalom, 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 my brothers and sisters. This is Brother Abba Yah Israel. Right, right, uh, right one more time for liberation, tabernacle of Yah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just want to come in here and say something, brothers and sisters, uh, right fast. That some people just not going to get it. Some people are just not going to get it. Some people you just not going to be able to save, man. I mean, you just not going to wake them up. I don't, I don't care how hard you try. I don't care how simple you make it. I don't care how plain you make it. Some people are just not going to get it. Or it's not that sometimes they're not going to get it. They just are not willing to accept it. That may be the case. They're just not willing to accept it because <sighs> some people have been so indoctrinated. They have been so indoctrinated that they can't let go. They can't, they're, they're afraid to let go or they just, I don't know, man. <laughs> they, they would not let it go. I don't care how simple and plain you make it. Like for me, like y'all know that I say I'm to knock only what they'll call AKA Old Testament, but I can still go in those so-called gospels and Paul letters, which you have to go into now. You're trying to teach them teach the Christians, teach these messianics, whatnot, you have to go into it. But, and no matter what you show them, like I've been talking about Paul and his law and all of this stuff, no matter what you show them, they're still going to say, Paul wasn't teaching against the law. It's plain and simple. You're reading Paul words. Well, it's supposed to be Paul words. And they're still going to say, you don't know what you're talking about. You need to read your Bible. What the Jane Brown you think I'm reading from? And y'all, I use Jane Brown. No, no disrespect to Jane Brown. May the peace of be upon his soul. But I say that is, it's like you know, like an alternative uh, profanity word. Stop me from using profanity. So yes, yeah, said Jane Brown, get down or something like that. Y'all get it? So all right, I just had to throw that in there. Y'all be hearing me say that. But I don't know what they be reading. It's just there in denial, like somebody. Said, somebody said on a, a video that I, I, I posted from yesterday, they made a comment. Uh, they made one comment, they deleted it, but they were saying something about um, they don't understand our, us in these Israelite camps. But they deleted the thing before I can really just get a chance to read it all. Um, number one, let me say, I'm not with no, I'm not with a camp. I don't. I'm not with those Israelite, what y'all call the Israelite messianic camps. Let me say that for real. Because these are, these are messianic camps. And lots of y'all congregations y'all see out there. I, I'm not with them. No, sir. But he said one other thing. He said, this is, <laughs> it was so funny to me, man, because I'm just tripping off of it. But he said that um, this the type of, he said, this the type of preacher that you need to stay away from. That's what he said. This is the type of preacher you need to stay away from. And um, and he was saying, you know, hey, man, y'all better watch out for a preacher like this, guys, or something to that degree. But he said, this is the type of preacher you need to stay away from. Yeah, I know it is. I know it. Yeah, you're right. I'm the type of brother or I ain't going to say preacher or if y'all want to say preacher, minister, whatever, that you need to stay away from if you with this foolishness. If you in, if you with this foolishness, and believing in this Pauline doctrine, you believing that um, that some man who is <laughs> who's supposed to be God in flesh and his son at the same time, and he came and died for your sin to redeem you from your sin. Oh yeah, I'm the type of dude you need to stay away from. I'm the type of what you said preacher that you need to stay away from because you don't want to hear what I have to say. Then it's just not only me, my brothers and sisters. I'm not trying to make it all about me, but that's what he said. I'm the type of preacher you stay. Yeah, you need to stay. To, you need to stay your tail away from me, because I'm going to tell you that is a blatant lie. And I'm, I'm and I'm gonna go in your books, and I'm gonna go into your books, which y'all call the New Testament, the Gospels, the Pauline doctrine, and I'm gonna show you. The contradictions and the lies in there. And show you basically how we do, do not. Since you try to use. Since y'all want to use the Tanakh. Which y'all call Old Testament. I always got to say that y'all. So y'all want some people who may be new to this type of thing. Well y'all always want to use. Uh, and try to say that. 
uh, 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 cause somebody was still saying that, uh, that, 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 that Jesus or whatnot, Yahweh Shai Yahshua is prophesied in, throughout the Old Testament. There's a prophecy about him. We gonna go through that. We gonna show you this. That's a lie. So yeah, if you're saying that and you believing in that, yeah, I'm the type of preacher that you will, that you do need to stay away from, and unless you want to hear some truth, unless you want to hear the truth. But if you continue to want to wall around in them lies, you want to wall around in the lies like little pigs in the, in the pig pen. Hey, yes, stay away from Liberation Tabernacle of Yah. Stay away. You right. You are surely right, because we're going to come over here and we're going to tell you the truth. We're not going to tell you no lies. We're not going to give you no, uh, 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 no smoke screen. I'm not going to, I'm not, listen, I'm not going to tell you that some man going to die for your sin. I'm not going to sit here and preach to you that somebody's going to come one of these days, anointed one, a martial, I don't give a damn what y'all call it, a is somebody going to come by in a spaceship or I, I don't care if it's a Bentley, whatever, to come and save you? That's coming to redeem you. You, you ain't going to hear that over here. We're not going to teach that over here. We're not going to preach that over here. Number one, like I was we saying earlier on, on other, uh, other, uh, earlier class, nobody had to come save you from your sins. All you got to do is stop sinning. That's if you sin. Just stop what you're doing. Just stop your wicked way. That's all you got to do. Ain't nobody got to come down here special for you to save you. When hell, are you the one who has the, the choice to do it? Like I was reading earlier in and, and, and Genesis um, what was I? In Genesis 4 and 17, when they were saying that the most I was talking about talking to Cain. I think it was 4, y'all. Don't quote me right now. Let me see. I got to find it right fast. When he was talking to Cain, and he was telling me sin lies at your door. It might have been six. But he was saying, sin lying at your door, crotch at your door. So all you had to do, you know, is just uh, change your ways, man. Yeah, that's all you got to do, just change your ways. Sin lies at your door. I mean, just crotch at your door. Don't mean you got to open, don't open the door. Don't open the door and let it in unless you want to see it not. <laughs> <laughs> Don't open that door unless you want to see it. I got to find it right fast for y'all, my brothers and sisters. But, yeah, that's four and seven. I'm going to read it to y'all again from my King James. I mean, not King James. Uh, my complete Jewish Bible right here. That's uh, Genesis four and uh, seven. And it says, and he was talking to, talk to Cain. Uh, the most I was talking to Cain. It says, if you are doing what is good, shouldn't you hold your head high? And if you don't do what is good, sin is crouching at the door. It wants you, but you can rule over it. It wants you, but you can rule over it. So the whole point is that, brothers and sisters, just because sin is lying there, temptation is lying there waiting for you, you don't have to do it. You don't have to accept it. Like I said, just because it's lying there, like I said, sin is crouching at your door, it wants you. It wants you. It, it You know... <laughs> Things in your flesh may want to do uh, what the world wanted to do. Be out here in the world. Like, y'all know, even going into those Gospels, it says what? Be ye in the world, but not of the world, right? Don't be a worldly person. Just because everybody else out here doing it don't mean you have to. Just because the world says okay, just because society says okay, don't mean you have to go out here and do it. Hmm? We said, well, like, you know, back in the day, we said, well, mama, my friends are doing it. Well, mama used to tell you, boy, I don't care what they doing. I'm your mama. I told you don't do it. I don't. I'm your mama. <laughs> your dad's like, that. look, we, I'm, we, your parents, we said, no, we said, you're not going, you're not going to the so-and-so, this, that, and another, or no, you can't do this. You can't do that. I don't care what they doing. I don't care what they mom and daddy told them they can do. I said you're not going to do it. They laid down the law, didn't it? They laid down the Torah to you, didn't it? Because that's their in teachings and instructions. Yeah. And you had to follow it. If you didn't follow it, what you got? You got a chastisement, just like the Most High did. But the point is, Sister Brother, I'm going to up. Everybody's... Is not going to accept it. I don't care how much you make it plain. I don't care how you lay it out, 
how sweet ABC123, you lay it out for them. Some people are just, they love that indoctrination that they got. And they love the, the, the and, and, and I'm going to tell you, especially a lot of these people, man, who believe in this thing about somebody died for their dang on sins. See, boy, they love that responsibility because now they feel like they ain't got to be responsible for their own action. They're not responsible for their own action. Like we read in Dabarin, uh, you know, where it said Dabarin and Isaiah, uh, where, Aziki, I'm sorry, where it said that uh, every man is responsible for his own sin. Every man is responsible for his own sin. See, they don't want to be responsible for their own sin. They want to pass it off to so-called Jesus and said he died for their sins. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood. <laughs> oh, man. So it's, it's easy for them. So they want to stay wrapped up in that lie. Wrapped up in that lie. And and if you come and you're trying to overturn this doctrine, it, this this their indoctrination, they're gonna they, they're not gonna like you, man. Because you come in with something uh, um, outside of what they've been constantly being taught. Because you might be like I said, what what they say? You like the prophet or, or, or the messenger uh, crying in the wilderness. See, it, like I said, everybody else believe in this. They looking at the hundreds and thousands of people who believe in that same lie like they are. And you probably just a lone soldier standing out there. Hey, man, I don't, I, don't, I don't believe that. You might be the only person that's standing there with the truth. Because, see, they go with, with the masses, the numbers. A lot of people like numbers. The number game. We got to be true. Because all them, all, all them many people, all them many people, they believe in it. Oh, it got to be true. You mean, look, look, ain't that many people going to believe in it, man, if it ain't true? You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Elijah Muhammad, I remember the teaching of the Nation of Islam on Elijah Muhammad. He talked about the 85%, the 10%, and the 5%. He said the 85% of the deaf, dumb, and blind masses of the people who believe the lies of the devil. Now, I know I'm not quoting exactly right. But I, he said, but that's what he was saying. He said, 85% are the masses of the deaf, dumb, and blind who believe the lies of the devil. And they don't go to the, but that's what, when you look at the masses of the people, they believe a lot of these lies. So when you're going out to these dang on numbers and this herd mentality, go right ahead. So when you see a brother like me crying in the wilderness, as y'all say, John did. Hey, man, we, we can't expect for everybody to get it. We ain't going to expect for everybody to get it. Let me hurry up and get this one right fast. But it's just like uh, uh, Hosea in the book of Hosea. Y'all know the famous one in Hosea. Everybody always quote Isaiah, I mean Hosea with this, Hosea. Everybody quote Hosea. What did it say in Hosea? Uh, what we got, what we got, what we got? It said, you know, you know it, y'all know it. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And people usually always stop right there. I don't know why they don't keep on continuing, go ahead with it. What's the other part, y'all? What's the other part? Because they reject knowledge. Hmm? Because they reject knowledge. Why are you destroyed? Because you reject knowledge. Damn, y'all. Hold up. Let me, I got I to gotta get off of here. They shooting. Uh-oh. Goddamn Baghdad. Huh? All right, shalom.